We have the scent of paradise itself is according to your liking. What type of a scent? Amazing. That scent which follows you as and how you like. Wherever it is, it changes with the changing of what you would wish. And at the same time, there is nothing haram in paradise. How's that one? <laughs> nothing haram. Imagine, zero, haram. The word haram don't exist. That was only for the dunya. It was a ruling that Allah placed in order to test you. That's yours. It's your own. You know, when you work for someone, you got to clock in at 8 o'clock, leave at 5. When you become your own boss, you decide what time you want to go, what time you come back. But then again, you will have to stick to it because people might come to your business. In Jannah, there is nothing haram. No timetables in, in, in that regard. You know, no restrictions regarding haram. Everything is permissible. Adam alayhi salatu was salam, certain things were made prohibited for him. That is why some of the scholars go into the issue of the type of Jannah he was in. They call it Jannah to Tila. It could be a place of testing, special place created by Allah of testing. He was tested. But the Jannatul Khuld, the one which we will be going into, as we said, you enter, there's no exit. You won't think about exiting. You won't want to exit. <laughs> you know, today people rush to Britain seeking asylum, they never come out. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> but this is not Jannah. I don't know what made me think of that example. <laughs> but it's a reality. Because you may have certain, you know, points of ease, perhaps. You know, it might have solved a few of your problems. But wallahi, Jannah in real, in reality, you enter it, you don't exit. It's over, the game is over. Subhanallah, yours, forever and ever. Another thing, there is no death in there, nothing at all. Death is something that will be brought forth and destroyed. There is no death after today, gone. Imagine death. Something else. You will never ever be hungry, but you will never ever be full. You will always be ready to eat. Allahu Akbar. No gymming needed. Allahu Akbar. No shedding of weight needed. You eat what you want, how you want, as much as you want. No excretion. Nothing. In fact, it is released as a scent of musk according to your desire. Subhanallah. So you eat what you want, how you want, as much as you want. You will never get full. You know, sometimes we're eating and it's the most beautiful you know, food that we have. But after a limit, you start feeling a little bit, you know, full. Your belly starts, you know, feeling full. And if you've had water, you can actually hear the water in it. And you've got to stop at that point. Subhanallah. You know, they say if you upload, you've got to download. Allah. 